Biden. To what he meant by calling it revisionist Russia? Revisionist Russia? Yeah, what, what, what does that mean? Well, the secretary? Yeah, Secretary Hagel. I think what he's referring to there is that, uh, that there appears to be in their intentions and their motives um, uh, a, a, call, a calling back to uh, the glory days of the Soviet uh, Union. He also used the phrase, that phrase that its army, meaning Russia's army, on NATO's doorstep. Um, why is that? Is, is it not logical to look at this and say the reason that the Russian army is on NATO, uh, the, the Russian army is at NATO's doorstep, is because NATO has expanded rather than the, the Russians expanding? That, in other words, NATO has moved closer to Russia rather than Russia moving closer to NATO. Is that not an accurate? way to look at this? I think that's the way President Putin probably looks at it. It's certainly not but the way that we look at it. You don't You don't think that NATO has expanded eastward toward Russia? NATO has expanded, okay. and, and the expansion so the has reason, been a good thing for... So the reason that the Russian army is at NATO's doorstep is not the fault of the Russian army, not the... It's not the Russian army that's done it. It's NATO has moved closer to move east. I'm pretty east. sure it wasn't NATO who was ordering, you know, upwards of 15 battalion tactical groups to within 10 kilometers of the border with Ukraine. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't NATO who put little green men inside Ukraine to destabilize okay. eastern states. Well, I'm pretty states. sure that Ukraine is not a member of NATO. So unless that's changed... It's not, it's not okay. changed, but I'm so, pretty sure the movement by Russia is has Russia's NATO, has, If NATO is moved east... The reason that the Russian army is closer or on NATO's doorstep is because NATO moved, not NATO because is not an, an anti-Russia alliance. NATO is a security alliance. For 50 years, it was an anti-Soviet alliance. So Where's do you not Soviet understand it? Togo, do you not understand how, or can you not even see how the Russians would perceive it as a, as a threat? And the fact that it keeps getting closer to their border while their troops... I mean, the, the places where their troops are, you say their troops are, and may, may have been in Ukraine and Georgia, are not NATO members. I don't have, I'm not going to pretend to know what goes in President Putin's mind or Russian military commanders. I mean, okay. I barely got a history degree at the University of South Florida. Right. What, I can tell you, <laughs> what I can tell you is that, is that uh, NATO is a defensive alliance. It remains a defensive alliance. Fair enough, but it has moved east. Correct? I mean, that's just the it fact. It has expanded, absolutely. Right, exactly. But and there's so the no reason, reason for anybody to think the expansion is a hostile or threatening move. Regardless. And we've been saying that throughout the last 15 years, Matt. It's like getting, you're, you're, mo you're moving closer to Russia. You're blaming the Russians for being close to NATO. No, no, no. no. That's <laughs> exactly what Hegel said. We're blaming the Russians for violating the territorial integrity of Ukraine and destabilizing okay. the security which situation is not a NATO member. Europe. Which is not a NATO member. I, I, I see other countries feel threatened that are NATO members.